Hello everyone, I'm Aditi Shastri from the Montefiore Einstein Cancer Center in the Bronx, New York. Uh, it's lovely to be here with you today. Uh, I will be talking about one or two major updates in myelodysplastic syndromes in the past year or so. Uh, we have had definitely a lot of movement in updated classification, prognostic systems, as well as therapeutics in myelodysplastic syndromes. Uh, one of the uh, sort of larger things that happened was the utilization and incorporation of the IPSSM or the International Prognostic Scoring System incorporating molecular findings or somatic mutations that now helps us better risk stratify patients with MDS. Uh, and this allows us to use targeted therapies more efficiently and hopefully will be a major advance for future clinical trials where we are testing many targeted therapeutics in MDS. Uh, another few advances that I would like to say is that so in low risk MDS, we do have this a drug loose patercept, which has shown a sustained activity uh, and sustained uh, transfusion independence. Uh, we also have a new agent, which is a telomerase inhibitor that will be tested in a large clinical trial called imetelstat. In high-risk MDS, we have several new agents in development. We have magrolimab, which targets CD47 in combination with azacitidine. We have the IDH1 and 2 inhibitors, which were previously approved for AML, now in trials in MDS. And we also have a novel IRAC4 inhibitor in trials. So in my humble opinion, I think the future for MDS patients definitely looks more promising now than before. Thank you.